Jesus, the results of the collapse of the dark's nefarious agendas are coming plainly into view. September 17, 2013, by John Smallman. We are watching over you with love and compassion, and we do see the doubts, worries, fears, and suffering that so many of you are undergoing in these final moments of the old ways in which conflict and betrayal are rife. The divine field of love is constantly holding you firmly and gently, as you make your way along your homeward paths, to ensure that any stumbles or falls cause you the minimum of suffering. It is a hard slog, and your patience and fortitude are exemplary as you continue to move forwards with unfailing determination. Some of you have been tempted to throw in the towel, to give up, but not one of you has done so, even though it might seem that some of you have, for you are far stronger than you are aware of and we can assure you that not one of you will fail to complete the journey. You are coming home to reality, and arrival at that divine destination is inevitable. Humanity at large is also making tremendous progress towards awakening, enormously assisted by your loving intent that this be so. Be aware of the suffering that many are still experiencing. Intend to send love and compassion to them in every moment, but do not focus your attention there. Look for and focus your attention on the good news because that uplifts and inspires you, and intend for it to be widely known, widely promulgated, and take joy in it. Your joy uplifts you, and the energy that flows through you as a result of that joy inspires others. You are all doing what you incarnated to do, and you are doing it extremely well. Congratulations are in order. Much of what is good that is occurring across the world is because you light bearers and way showers are intending that it happen. And as it happens, more and more are uplifted and inspired by what they see and hear and they then add their intent to the collective, as you have been doing for so long, to help direct it into new loving attitudes that will strengthen the foundations on which these monumental changes are built and ensure that there is no backsliding. Humanity has collectively made the choice to awaken and that decision is known and honored throughout the spiritual realms, and a choral symphony of incredible beauty is playing now throughout creation as a precursory celebration in advance of the grand celebrations which will greet you as you awaken. To be alive as a human at this point in your spiritual evolution is a privilege and an honor, and enormous numbers of beings, far more than could be accommodated, wish to be present on earth at this time to assist in and be a part of the changes occurring. You were all invited to be a part of this grand venture and every one of you chose to accept that invitation. Nevertheless, for many of you now it is extremely hard to envisage anyone wanting to be on earth as the present multitudinous, ongoing, chaotic and confusing events and situations military conflicts, political instabilities, economic turbulence, and religious scandals continue to bring pain and suffering to so many. However, most of you also realize that things cannot continue like this for very much longer, and in this you are utterly correct. And of course you also knew this when you accepted your invitations to be present on earth and assist with the awakening of humanity. The balance between light and dark, which seems from your perspective to have been weighted most heavily in favor of the latter for eons, is finished. The light has prevailed, no other possibility ever existed and the results of the collapse of the dark's many nefarious agendas are coming plainly into view. The brilliant light of God's love for all of his divine creation is rapidly dispersing the dark, and only a very few remote enclaves remain, in which those who choose to block out love can continue to embrace darkness. And as the light on earth continues to intensify due to the strengthening collective intent that it do so, the few last remaining members of old established organizations that have for so long cherished the dark and the apparent power it gave them will shortly have to choose either to embrace the light, as most will, or they will move on to environments in which they can continue to play their unhappy games for as long as they choose to do so. But even they will eventually turn around and embrace the light, because it is impossible to deny one's nature permanently, and all that exist are by their very nature beings of light. There is only light and darkness is merely illusory a nothingness that is unreal but seems real when one closes one's eye to the light. But all will open their eyes because the light shining upon them is far too bright to resist. Your loving brother, Jesus